thing needs knives i'm jared and we have a new kaiser original but this one is in a completely different material and has a couple little differences now if you are wanting to get this particular model the copper model um it will be available august 10th and i have an affiliate link to mojave outdoors so you can save yourself 10 percent off by using my discount code and mojave outdoors has all kinds of other kaisers on their website so uh, check out my link down in the description and see what they have on their site and don't forget to use the discount code to save yourself 10 percent off so one this one is in copper instead of aluminum the original one is in aluminum as you can see and if you look at the clip beautiful clip these clips are great we're going to go back over the handle material here in one second but the clip is inset with flat screws which is a beautiful thing the clip works great super good in and out of the pocket it looks really clean and it makes you feel good when it's inset with flat screws there's nothing to mess around when you're putting it in and out of the pocket nothing to catch and you know you can tell they put a little bit more effort into it this one does not have the logo on it which I do prefer. I'd rather it be nice and clean like that. So no logo on it. Now back to the handle material. It is copper. So yes, it has more weight. This is a lot lighter. This is a very lightweight, very solid feeling knife. This one has even more of a substantial feel to it. Not only because it's copper, um, or because it's copper, it's heavier. However, they did weight relieve it significantly. So they did weight relieve it, um, which they did not do with the aluminum scales, but it's a lot lighter material. So this does have some heft to it. However, in my opinion, I don't think it's too heavy. Um, one, it's a small knife, right? It's not a big knife. So being a small knife to me, it's not really possible for it to be too heavy. Um, I, I like a little bit of heft sometimes. Sometimes when a knife is too light, it just it makes it feel cheap and janky. Now these do not have that feeling whatsoever because they're still a, a metal, you know, they're still very solid, very durable feeling while also being lightweight. This adds that heft to it. So really nice weight to it in my opinion. Some people might think it's a little heavy, but I, I, I personally really like it. Um, now it has a beautiful sound. Listen, very, very nice sound. Love the sound of this. Now this one has a cool sound or a nice sound too. Not as good, but it's still really good. So so I don't want to take anything away. This one does not have the ting. It is more of a thwack. I think the coating on the blade kind of takes that away. But regardless, um, they all feel really good. Super smooth. Good access to the thumb studs. 154 CM blade steel. Kaiser does a great job with the 154 CM. Um, I like 154 CM. I think it's a phenomenal steel, especially at a medium grit. When you sharpen it, I like low angles, medium grit on my 154 CM. Now, beautiful drop point blade. You can see it has the Kaiser original copper on the spine. Removable thumb studs, which like I said before, very easy to access. Nice grippiness to them, whether you're doing a reverse flick or a thumb flick. The button is nicely inset. Um, so you're not going to accidentally disengage it to even, you know, with squeezing it and everything. But when you're ready to disengage, you can push it in. And it is stupid smooth on its caged bearings, ceramic caged bearings. Now, one thing I do really appreciate is the feeling of the lock up with this. You can actually feel the button lock engage on any one of them. And that lets me know the lock engaged, which I do prefer. I do like that. Now, disengaging it, um, sometimes buttons get a little bit of stick to them. 
I'm never really too worried about it as long as it's not horrible. But when it has a little tiny bit of lock stick, I tend to like that. Just a little bit. Because it lets me know it's not going to have any up and down play. Now one downfall to button locks is most of the time when that little tiny tiny bit of lock stick goes away, it's only a matter of time before you eventually can muscle some up and down. Um, now this one is super solid, no up and down whatsoever. This one, I got a hint of it, but I do have to muscle it. Now, is that going to make it fail or anything? No, it's not meaning that even with access style locks that can happen. Um, and it's just the nature of the beast with button locks. If there's not a hint of stick now, does that mean it's, it's going to have that if it doesn't have a, a hint of lock stick? No, but in my opinion, it's going to be a matter of time and eventually you will be able to muscle some. Uh, but they come very rock solid and it's easy to stretch the spring and make your lockup stronger if that becomes a thing that annoys you. So it's easy to, to, to fix, which is not even fixing, but it's easy to, to make your lockup even stronger if you want it. Um, standoffs in the back make it even have a more durable, uh, you know, feeling even though it really doesn't need two standoffs because it is solid metal but you know they're very very solid this one man this one just feels like a little tank which i do like a lot uh plunge grind and choil i i would prefer a little bit more meat on the bones right there but i do i like the fact that they made the the end of the plunge grind very pronounced you can see exactly where it ends and you can see exactly the point of which you can sharpen up to before it starts showing a smile. So I can see I can get a couple good sharpenings on it before it starts hitting the plunge grind, which I do like. Of course, I'd like more, but that's what I got. So the Ergo's very comfortable in the hand. It is a smaller knife, so if I choke back, you know, I could still get a full four finger grip, but my, my fourth finger struggling to hang on. So take advantage of this spot right there. You get a full four finger grip and it's really nice in the hand. Um, it is squared off, but the edges are knocked down very, very nicely, super comfortable in the hand. And yeah, it, it, uh, it is a nice, comfortable knife. Now, I do have a 10% discount code for everything on Mojave Outdoors. So if you want to pick up something like this or anything else from Mojave Outdoors, make sure you use my discount code that's linked down in the description. Save yourself a, a few bones and uh, support the, the channel uh, because Mojave Outdoors does support Neves Knives. They do send us knives to check out. Um, it's under no terms or conditions that I have to say anything good bad or anything like that just you know to check out the knives they know i'm going to be completely honest and if you guys want anything from their site you guys can use our discount code so very very cool now this type of copper it does have a a blackenedness i don't know what you'd call it a forced patina i guess so if you wanted to do a like your own force patina this is already darkened so you can still do it um but if you really really want to get those bright colors you're going to have to polish it first um because it already has somewhat of a stone washness to it um it's very smooth but you can see how it's kind of a darkened copper which i'm not sure if that you know um, the process they use to do that, I'm, you know, it's probably just some sort of forced patina, um, but it is very consistent and looks really, really good. But the Kaiser Original isn't hitting my tripod. The Kaiser Original is a really cool knife. It's one I very much enjoy, and I'm almost co not comparing, but these two Kaisers right here, the new Kaiser Drop Bear, I am absolutely loving this knife absolutely loving this knife um and this is another one I'm, I'm absolutely loving now this one is a little bit smaller than the drop bear but they have a a solid feel to them that i really really enjoy um it's you know i like the aluminum feel um you have the the personally me 
you know, I, I, I like the feel of this aluminum. Um, it feels like a, a well-built, tough knife without being too overbuilt. It's nice and solid. It has a premium feel to it. The action is amazing. Really cool sounds. And they, they, they're not the same knife in any way, shape, or form, but in, they're kind of competing a little bit um, because they're both relatively small knives with amazing action and have that, that premium quality to them that, you know, make you feel like you spent, you spent your money wisely. You know what I mean? Um, and both of them have that to them. So... I, I highly recommend the Drop Bear, and if you haven't tried a Kaiser Original, I definitely recommend that one as well. Um, it's one I definitely really like. I have a few of them, um, and I like them all, but anyways, I do think these are really cool knives. Um, but there you guys go. Just a quick look at the new Original um, that is in copper. That is a little different than the original one. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.